Hi, I'm Mike from Cheap Thrills. We're gonna show you today on how we're going to repair this Cadillac North Star engine without using inserts. Uh, I know for about the last 10 years, 10 so years, that's the method that's been used, is these big steel inserts, but we actually use these engines in our race cars and we were always looking for the best method, the, the most reliable way of putting these back together. And if we have something here that is much easier and just as reliable, if not more reliable than the big threaded insert. So we're gonna go over here to this block over here and I'm gonna explain some of the disadvantages of the steel insert. So when you look at the deck of the block, it actually looks like it's really big, thick aluminum. But actually, you can see here, it's very thin. So we took a sledgehammer earlier and busted that away so you can actually see the kind of area that you have to work with. So when you drill it out, um, and you can zoom back in here again, when you drill it out and put this big insert in there, you actually take a decent amount and you actually make it very small that's left after you do the drilling and tapping. And it's actually very, very difficult to actually drill and tap this perfectly straight like that it's done from the factory. What usually ends up happening is the drill bit wants to follow one side of the hole or the other. And there are jigs that's included with the kits, etc. cetera. Um, and just to be clear, I'm not, I've used lots of these inserts and they've actually proven to be good. It's just that this is a easier, better method for us. So the thread size of the bolts in the North Star are an 11 by 1.5 thread. Um, and this is a factory head bolt for a 2000 Cadillac North Star. So we have this head bolt here, which is the same length as the original North Star head bolt, except it's a 12 by 1.5 thread. And you can just see in this hole here, I mean, that's the size of the 11 and that's the size of the 12. It's much, you know, obviously it's one millimeter bigger. But the advantage is, is that when you take the tap, instead of using a tap that's this big, you're using a tap that's this big. So when you're actually tapping it, since it's the same thread pitch, it will, it will follow the factory threads already. The pitch is bigger and you're just simply taking out one millimeter of the aluminum so you have fresh new threads for it to be put to back together. Another really big advantage is if you look at the length of the threads in this one versus the length of the threads of this one, you know, you're getting the entire thread engagement of the block. I don't know if you can get that on the side there, but you're not just grabbing an inch or so, you're grabbing the entire width of that. So what we're gonna do over here on this block is we're actually gonna walk through. I'll show you the old method. So we used to use, you would simply take the drill jig and using a factory head bolt, you would set it up and you would line it up with the pin, tighten that up, drill, and these were interchangeable. So you could go from the drilling jig to the tapping jig, but you had to go and do every single hole. Um, and it took quite a while and you had to drill, you had to drill these, these dowel guide pins out which were a pain in the butt to get out because a lot of times they're stuck in there because they've been in there for a very long time. Doing it this way, we're actually gonna walk through here. So we have our 12 by 1.5 tap. We're gonna put a little tapping oil on it. All right. And so since this actually fits in there perfectly, you don't have to drill those out. So over here in my drill, I have it set up. And you just lightly get it started. And you don't go all the way down, you go most of the way. see the little bit of you know the new the aluminum that you just cut out of there and so in the in the vacuum it 
it's good to have a small piece of hose so you can get all the threads out, or I'm sorry, the metal shavings out. And the same thing, so as you go back down here to start in there, you just lightly do it, just to make sure you get started fine. And this time you'll go all the way down. And you know it's pretty much all the way down when it's about that far out of the block. There's just a maybe three quarters of an inch of the tap. And you just take it right back out. Yep. And then we'll clean it out one more time. And that's basically all there is. So now you have a 12 by 1.5 threaded hole. So you couldn't tell from the time lapse, but that was about 30 minutes, which was significantly shorter than before. It took several hours the other way. Um, so you're gonna, this engine right here, believe it or not, will be in a car by the weekend and actually will be racing on a racetrack next weekend. So you'll get to see the heads being put on. We do a couple little special treatments on that. Uh, to make sure this engine never has head gasket problems ever again. And you'll get to see if this thing can run an endurance race. So we'll see you next weekend.